Saturday, we have John Michael Hayden, the new men's soccer coach at the <laughs> University of Louisville. Congratulations on the job. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your very busy schedule yes. now to, to join us <laughs> on Sports Saturday. So I guess that's the place to start is when you take over a program as now the head coach, how do you go about building on all the all the things that you have to do to make the program successful? Uh, quite honestly, again, going from the assistant role to now being the head coach, I was involved in the program in a number of aspects, but you know, the weight of the program is now on my shoulder. So there's a massive responsibility and kind of, I guess, if you will, wrapping my head around, okay, what areas do I need to uh, prioritize, if you will? Mm -hmm. um, but most importantly, it's the team, you know, taking care of the team and that the current roster, making sure we're in a good spot there, um, and then building upon the foundation that uh, Coach Lola had set uh, and just taking it to a new level. So there's a massive responsibility. I realize that, and um, I'm, I'm welcoming it. Being a guy that, that grew up in Louisville and played at Trinity and now to be coaching in your hometown at a program like this, yeah. what did that opportunity mean to you? It's uh, so, so being from Louisville and growing up in the area, uh, I think the Louisville people know this. When you get in this community, it's one of those things you just want to stay here. Yeah. Um, so uh, I ended up going to Indiana University for mm -hmm. college, playing four years there, moved to Houston, uh, played professional in the MLS for the Dynamo. And when I got into the coaching, I said, you know, I, w I actually became a volunteer with University of Louisville in 2012. Mm -hmm. And then I left to go to a program, Lipscomb, in Nashville, Tennessee for two years. Then I was in Cincinnati for a year. And I always wanted to get back. I always said, okay, I want to be a part of the University of Louisville program mm -hmm. and, and help build upon the success that I had seen. And when I was given the opportunity to be the lead assistant, I embraced it uh, and was so fortunate to work with Coach Lola. Mm -hmm. And now I'm in this position, and, I, and again, I can't be more thrilled. You talked about the growth of the program, and that has something been something that we've seen over the last few years uh, under Coach Lola. When you get a chance to take over this and go through kind of all of your experiences and all of the things that you've learned along the way, how much of it do you go, we need to continue what has been set out, or there's things that I want to change? How do you kind of achieve that balance? Uh, great question. It really is. And I think, uh, again, he's the, the foundation has been laid, and it's in a really good spot. Mm -hmm. We won the ACC yeah. last year, which is a phenomenal accomplishment. But for us, we have not won a national championship. And for you know me stepping into this role is that in my mind is how we take it to the mm -hmm. next level. Um, that's there's a part of that is the it, we had a good culture building upon the culture that we had, also within recruitment finding the type of players that kind of fit how we want to go about uh, our business, if you will. Um, and and you know my past experiences, I've had some success as a former player, former coach. And being a part of the program and, again, winning the ACC, I kind of know what it all looks like, and I want to take it to the next level, if you will. When you look at the roster, because I know you said that you, you were a big part of, of building that roster and kind of making those connections with the players. When you look at the roster coming back next year, what's kind of the potential of the team? Oh, it's it's exciting. I mean, again, I, they had class on Monday, and I was able to chat with some of them uh, on the phone prior <laughs> when I got the job, but also, like, seeing them now and talking about, like, you know, the, the progress, if you will, the, the, how we're going to move this thing forward. And the, there's a good core group of guys. And within any program, uh, you constantly are recruiting. And we're going to yeah. bring in some good guys as it mm -hmm. is. But I'm really excited about the, the current group as it is moving forward. So I think you said 18 of the 22 players off last year's team yeah. is back. Yeah, roughly around that, that number. So, yeah. I uh, want to talk to you about one of the guys that left, Tate Schmidt, mm -hmm. who is now signed yeah. a home, homegrown deal right. uh, with Real Salt Lake. Yeah. Uh, Kind of walk me through what that deal is and what that you know what what a big a accomplishment that is for him. No, it's phenomenal for a guy like Tate. Um, he's invested in the program. He spent um, the time and grew as a as an individual as a player. Got his degree. Mm -hmm. You know, you come to the University of Louisville. You come to a university as a whole, and you you're a student first. You're yeah. a student athlete. Um, so for him to to go through the process, get his degree is awesome. And then now to have the opportunity to to pursue his dreams of being a professional soccer player in, in an environment he grew up 
in the Real Salt Lake Academy. He played youth soccer there. They tracked him, and now for him to have the opportunity to be a professional in their setup is awesome for him. That's got to be good for the U of L program too Absolutely. to have guys like that going on to yeah. MLS success. Absolutely, I think it, when I can't I can't pinpoint the number. I think it's maybe seven or eight since mm -hmm. I was a part of the program the first year I was a part um, that we've had guys go on to the next level. Mm -hmm. um, and we those are the type of players that we like to bring into the program because they're driven. They're driven to to be successful in the field um, and in life, and and they. In, for them to end up getting that opportunity to be pros is awesome. I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about you guys will have the chance to face some pros coming up soon. Yeah. One of your exhibition games is actually against uh, Louisville City FC. Right. How did that deal kind of come about? Uh, it's 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 there's a number of factors that go into it. Uh, um, John Hackworth, their head coach, mm -hmm. and then Danny Cruz is actually one of their assistants. I played with Danny when I was oh, really? uh, yeah when I was at the Houston Dynamo. Uh -huh. um, so I played with Danny and actually Mario Sanchez just got hired, mm -hmm. who was. Um, an assistant coach when I was a volunteer coach at Louisville. Mm -hmm. um, so there's some connections there, and it's one of those things. It's a good game. It really yeah. is. They're a good opponent. They just, you know, they just won what back to back. A straight, yeah, yeah, back to back USL championships. They're a phenomenal organization and a team. Um, and for us, I mean, again, we won the ACC. So it's one of those things. It's like. Let's play each other. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, two good teams playing each other, and I think it's great for the community. I think it's gonna like you, there's a huge draw for soccer in this area. I think, and the hope is that a lot of people come out because it's two t two good teams <laughs> playing, uh, and uh, it, it should be good. I'm kind of curious from your perspective as someone who has grown up here and who's been very involved with soccer the entire you know your entire life. How have you seen that kind of the sport grow in mm -hmm. the city of Louisville? Oh, it's it's grown tremendously from the number of clubs even that we've had. Mm -hmm. When I was, so I was a director of coaching when I first finished playing professional. Mm -hmm. And just to see that, I was in the youth scene and to see kids uh, in the area that are passionate about the sport, like the number, the sheer numbers alone have mm -hmm. grown, I think. Um, there's been new clubs that have popped up. Um, you see not only the, the, the passion, the joy for the game and the youth, but also the ability. I mean, there's, I mean, as we recruit even at University of Louisville, I mean, there's some good local, local based players that we want to come and, and help build the program and take it to a new level. Um, so the sport's grown, uh, the quality has grown. There's a number of things that's exciting about just the, the Louisville area. And like you said, that all helps you guys down Absolutely. the line. Absolutely. Coach Hayden, thank you so yeah. much for your time. Appreciate it. Best yeah. of luck thank in the you. coming season. And uh, just with, with raising the expectations in the program yeah. in general. Awesome. Appreciate it.